Happy New Year! Can you believe it's already 2023? So how am I going to start off 2023? I'm going to start it off with a video talking about a lie. But in a good, positive sort of way. Almost a campy way. Because as you'll know, in 2022, I had two bikes stolen. I went from never having a bike stolen to having two stolen back to back. And in the course of making the videos on those, which I'll put links in the description, just in case you haven't seen them, I had so many people comment and say, well, Kev, all you have to do is get an Apple AirTag and put one on each of your bikes. Well, there's a problem with that. I have this cost, this four pack, cost, I think $99, something like that. At any given time, I have 30 plus bikes. So that's not really cost effective for me. Plus, I don't normally keep bikes exposed outside, unguarded. As I mentioned, I just had that one out there in my house. One was stolen somewhere else. The one that was stolen from my house was a project bike, a weather experiment bike. So that happened, but still, you got in my head. You got in my head. I started thinking, you know, regularly, I have Project Comp, my Schwinn Aluminum Comp, my modified Schwinn Aluminum Comp. And in 2022, my most ridden bike, I try to ride this regularly. I do go in bursts, but often I'll have this on the bike rack on the back of my car. And in the morning, I'll hit up a trail, go for a quick trail ride, kind of set the tone for the day, which is a good thing. However, you did get in my head. I started thinking, oh, maybe I do. You know, I already have some air tags. I mean, I keep an air tag. And if you don't know what an Apple air tag is, let me just tell you, there's these little bitty Apple devices, and you can put them on things like keychains. And if you lose this, which I have done many times, slidden out of my pockets somewhere in a couch cushion at someone's house I can track it with my iPhone and then I can play a tone when I get close to it that lets me know exactly where it is and it helps recover things so there's some merit there in theory you put an Apple air tag on a bike and you would be able to track it and they're small you can see this is not a big device at all. There are companies that have your back and they make mounts for this thing. Example, this is a Fidlock bike cage that I use and it's magnetic. And part of the beauty of this setup is that the base for it is a little thicker than a standard, well, standard bottle cage just mounts right to the cage bosses. But because there's this block on here, I was able to find this in this little black plastic thing is hidden an Apple AirTag right there. So I put that on my bike. There were so many people that said that that's what they use for bike security so they could always track their bike if they get it stolen. I thought, you know, because this is on my car so much, I'll put it on there and it's a really good idea. Until I was out at the trail the very first ride with this and I ran into someone that not only instantly spotted this but knew there was an air tag in it and said you know those don't work anymore for tracking your bike if it gets stolen they actually alert the thief that there's an apple air tag on the bike how can that be how can apple what wisdom could they use to actually help thieves i mean it just goes beyond comprehension but it turns out that a couple of people i think there were only a few cases of this where people were using an Apple AirTag to stalk someone. They would hide it on a car or I don't know what stalkers do, put it in a purse or on a purse. I don't know. But somehow they were actually able to use, because you could track with your iPhone and find out everywhere this thing went. If you were trying to track someone, I mean, you know, there is the possibility of that. So Apple, in their infinite wisdom, you know Apple, they know better than you know, right? So in their infinite wisdom, they decided to assume that everyone that would use one of these for a tracking purpose would be doing so for a nefarious reason, rather than, I don't know, just trying to protect your property so that you wouldn't have it stolen. If it did get stolen, you could call police, tell them where this is at, and get your property back. Well, it doesn't work like that, and that's the reason that I'm making this video, so that you can be informed, because so many of you kept telling me I have this Apple AirTag on my bike and I can always track it if it gets stolen. Well, what's going to happen now? This happened sometime in 2022, I believe. I don't know if they started it in 2021, 
but I know they just passed a new update to these that really kind of doubled down on it. So what's going to happen if this bike were to get stolen and the person that stole it happened to have an iPhone? What would happen is over a course of time, and I don't even know how long that is, but it's not very long from what I understand, it's going to let them know that there is an Apple AirTag that's not associated with their account or their phone that's following them around. And not only is it going to tell them that, given enough time, it's going to start playing that audio chime that an AirTag makes to let them know exactly where this item is so they'll be able to go, wait, 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 wait. Oh, well, there it is. There's the AirTag. So now I can just take that off, discard it, and I get my free bike. How crappy is that? In my opinion, pretty crappy makes this absolutely useless for any kind of bike security. So if you have one of these on your bike and you think you're going to be able to track it if it gets stolen, unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. It's actually going to help the criminal more than it's going to help you. And I'm trying to inform so that no one loses their stuff because, hey, you don't want to lose your bike and your AirTag. That's another 30 bucks. No reason to lose two things, right? Is this overreach by Apple, in my opinion? Yes, or an overreaction? Because I would think that all they would have to do is make a toggle so that you could choose to toggle that this, the second you realize the bike's gone, you could toggle and show that, hey, this is actually on an item that has been stolen, and then maybe it wouldn't alert and maybe the police, even if it didn't let you know the locations, it would still track it so that the police could find it and so on. But nope, it's going to alert the thief with that handy little chime. First, a notification on their phone and then the handy little air tag chime to let them know that they're being tracked and to get rid of that. So anyway, I don't want to make this a long drawn out video. I just want to inform you because, again, so many people commented and told me to buy an AirTag and that that would solve the worries. Well, it really does nothing. Now, to be fair, I will say this. Apple, I looked over all the Apple AirTag website. I looked at every documentation that I could find on the AirTag and every promotional thing that I could see. And Apple never said that this would be for use to track items. It said that it would be for use to find lost items. And that, in my opinion, a little bit of wordplay because stolen is kind of a form of loss. It's just a forced loss, at least in my opinion. But Apple did really design this more for just finding your keys rather than tracking an item that has been stolen. So keep that in mind if you have an Air Apple AirTag. And a lot of you probably got these for Christmas. And I'm not trying to discount your Christmas present because they're still a great, great Christmas present. You can still at least not lose things that are important like a wallet or keys, something like that. But if those items happen to get stolen and the person that steals them happens to have an iPhone, well, it's actually going to work to their benefit rather than yours that there is an air tag on that because that false sense of security, that's really not there. That's the topic of this video. Comment below if you use an air tag, if you knew this, that this was the way it is and that Apple's kind of doubled down on not letting this track a stolen item anymore. Thanks for watching Kev Central. Happy New Year. Have a great day.